Hello Booktube, it's Benjamin here and today I am reviewing Ray Bradbury's Zen and the Art of Writing. He's most famous for the book Fahrenheit 451, which if you haven't read now go read it. Um, this is what the, it looks like right there. Um, this book pretty much sums up why Ray Bradbury loves to write. And a part of the book he was actually saying that if you're writing for money, then you probably shouldn't be a writer. You should only do something if you love to do it. Every morning I jump out of bed and step on a landmine. The landmine is me. After the explosion, I spend the rest of the day putting the pieces together. Now it's your turn to jump. Zest, gusto, curiosity. These are the qualities every writer must have. As well as a spirit of adventure, in this exuberant book, the incomparable Ray Bradbury shares the wisdom, experience, and excitement of a lifetime of writing. Here are practical tips on the art of writing from a master of the craft. Everything from finding original ideas to developing your own voice and style, as well as the inside story of Bradbury's own remarkable career as a prolific author of novels, stories, poems, films, and plays. Zen in the Art of Writing is more than just a how-to manual for the would-be writer. It is a celebration of the act of writing itself that will delight, impassion, and inspire the writer in you. In it, Bradbury encourages us to follow the unique path of our instincts and enthusiasm to, place, to the place where our inner genius dwells, and he shows that success as a writer depends on how well you know your subject, your own life. So this is the cover against the back, uh, the table of contents, let's get there shall we. The table of contents is the preface, the preface, the joy of writing, run fast, stand still, or the thing at the top of the stairs, or new ghosts from old minds, how to keep and feed a muse, which was my favorite chapter, drunk and in charge of a bicycle, Investing Dimes, Fahrenheit 451, which is an interesting chapter, and I'd encourage you to definitely get this book. Um, Just This Side of the Byzantium Dandelion Wine, On the Shoulders of Giants, The Secret Mind, Zen in the Art of Writing, and On Creativity. Uh, this is the page that goes directly after the ta table of contents. How to Climb the Tree of Life, Throw Rocks at Yourself, and get down again without breaking your bones or your spirit. A preface with a title not much longer than the book. And I keep showing it to you. I just really like this book. Um, I think this book was a four stars. On I give it four stars on Goodreads. It's really a little quick read. It's only like 160 pages, 158 pages. So if you ever have an opportunity to find Zen in the Art of Writing, definitely pick it up. And I'm just letting you guys see my new shirt, Lucille. To all my Walking Dead friends. It's supposed to be spring, but yet it feels like summer. It's 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and it's pretty unbearable, considering the humidity is way up. So that's why I'm sweating like I'm on, like, I'd have to say, like Lucifer on Judgment Day. I look forward to seeing you guys' reviews. Um, I'm going to try to stay more, at, more on it, putting up... Uh, the videos. The thing is, I read so many books, I completely forget about you, BookTube, and I apologize. Um, live and let live, and I hope you guys have a good day or night, depending on where in the world you're watching this and at what time. Avida Zane.